channel. If you're new, then what are you saying? I apologise there's no subtitles today. It's just because we've got a lot of videos coming out and I just want to save a bit of time instead of having to put the subtitles in. But we're out here in today's video showing you how to make a pillar base for beginners. The interior is completely up to you but it's not the main focus. Now what you want to do is just simply follow the steps on the screen. The roof, sandstone, then the hatch frame with a crenellated spike fence with three fences one end and three spike fences the other end. The reason for this is because the spike, the, the crenellated is so you can actually run over it and you'll see why in a minute when we come round to the side. But with doing this it should be three long that way and three long that way with one at the end. Nothing goes on that end except a door. Now what you want to do is put a roof on there with a triangle wedge there now there should be a tiny little gap so what we're going to do is you put two more triangle wedges one there and one there it gives off an impression that they're actually connected from anyone that's looking because of the height no one can actually check then you put a square roof on the other side and it should give you this view now from here just follow this step by step all it is is just two four six spike fences that's it then come to the one in front put four more just there now if you can have a look just there it all looks covered up now that's the illusion you want to be pulling off straight after that you can put the door on now this is the overall look what you should be getting the end result that's it simple as that now when come to do the elevator I would 100% recommend putting the chain bell on the inside. You can add the sloped roof to do the trapped elevator as you can see the chain bell is on the inside so they can't turn it down or pull it up and the switch is behind them. This is the design you want to follow and, and you can see they're absolutely screwed once they go up there. Now I'm just going to show you where the actual bottom base leads if you put the center foundation up top as you can see it's i wouldn't say it's flat but it's pretty much flat now with it being kind of flat we're gonna have to try and sort that problem out to actually make it flat now it's about 21 sandstone foundations but to the bottom it should be about 14 to 16 where the middle bit cuts off if it was tier 3 if you're doing the advanced build now all I want to do is bring the foundation down so it lines up, remove the elevator, put a tier 3 one down, put the elevator back down or get a friend to do it, remove the two sandstone and you've got a perfectly lined up box that you can build off. Now as you can see I'm just going to start building so we can get a nice comfortable locked off room and now I'm going to show you the middle. We've got one door so we're going to have to add a few more and you can see in that corner just there We've got the chain to call the elevator down that's very important that we lock it off and we wrap it around the room we put roof stand just here so it allows us to put walls and foundations on top we put the walls first it's very important you put walls first more more protection shall i say then you can add the foundations in i don't know why but it is it's just the way the game works now this is what it looks like for the foundations if they were tier 3 and this is what it looks like for the beginners nothing at all however very secure very well indeed now you can see here it's 25,000 health the average three bombs or 25 gas arrows and explosive arrows 70,000 on the the roof tile so I lost my words then <laughs> and 7,000 on the sandstone one I did aqualonian just to show you it's a bright material and the sandstone is a completely different colour and you can't even see or tell the difference. People will not know it's sandstone. This is just a little blow through to show you the damage. I don't know why, but you know with this with this design you always put down like four bombs and you never blow the door anyway. And this is just to show you a different three bombs. So people think you get broken if you don't. That was four bombs. Look at that, gas arrow, and then shut the door still there, it's only got a thousand health like the first one has but I don't know, it's like a weird bug. Now this is like a realistic raid, say if someone did get through, call the elevator down, 
and you're like, oh my god, there we go, it's got a sloped roof, it's a trap door, let's all gas arrow it, rear, rear, rear. I'm just going to show you what happened in the end. But, whilst we wait for the end result, I'd just like to keep you updated for the next two videos that I've been focusing on, which is a ground-based defence strategy for beginners, but no fans foundation stack either. And if you're interested, I'm actually going to be starting doing rust videos as well. They're going to be quite interesting. I think you would like it. Like, really like it. Also, what's great with this design is people will just fall for it straight away. They're going to be coming here with all their bombs, all happy, coming with a set limit of arrows. They might have more, but they'll be coming with a set limit. So when you get those people to try and raid you late at night, or if you're online you're being raided, this is what will happen. They'll be baffled. Absolutely baffled. Thinking, where's the elevator gone? Everyone stood there, scratching the red, thinking, what do we do? Th at this point, they'll probably consider getting a trebuchet. Now, this is where you have to put your own works in and defend your base. But this is just a beginner's base tutorial to keep you safe from those raiders. Now, you can see the crenellated spike fence does use its purpose just there. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video because I enjoyed it just as much as you. And if you do have anything to say feel free to comment honestly make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button until next time i'm easy b